Hi folks, Mikey Bly here, and we're back with the Port Valley demo today. And uh, I realized last time when I was saying, what's going on at the station? Why is it on lockdown? There's a smashed window up here. <laughs> uh, yes, broken window leads to broken pieces of glass. We are very observant. Traffic cone. Door. All right. We don't want to go back to the river road, although I just remembered too that we wanted to try and get the mobile phone from that kiosk to phone somebody to talk about that girl who was sat on a road. But I wonder if that's something we can do later or if we should do it now. I want to explore this area first. That's what I want to do. Can we... Locked. Of course it's locked. It's as any normal entrance door should be in this century. No, no Not someone to trust your neighbours, huh? Well, do we, apart from the scooter keys, there's only a credit card inside. So we haven't actually got money to play that guy's bloody game again anyway, right? So that's what we need to do. We need to get money. Traffic gone. No problem here. Whatever you say, Mr. Cone. Thank you for your service. A not designed street. Oh, I get it. Probably named after German philosopher, not cut this signet. It's became quite rough over the past few years, so I always avoid it. Yeah, that's a good excuse. Poor knocker. His works didn't deserve to be remembered like this. It's a great excuse for not having somewhere for us to walk yet. Fabulous. Oh, ATM. I, obviously, this is what we're meant to use, but what about... The glass. They clearly fell from above. Well then. Well spotted. Broken window. Mm -hmm. Seems that someone broke that window. Ah, Jesus, well, wonders never cease. This guy is observant as I am. It's an automatic trade. Uh, an automated tell it. Uh, it's an ATM. Cash machine. So I prefer to call them. So can we use wallet on the ATM? I won't take money out unless I absolutely need to. Oh, I thought we needed money. I don't know why these streets are not safe, kids. Your streets may not be, but that doesn't mean that our streets aren't. Don't put the fear of God into everybody playing this game about not trusting anybody. South Street, traffic cone, park and meter. One of those new parking meters everybody's complaining about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do we need to use that? No, I, do I need to use that with the parking meter? Oh right, don't have any cash, of course. Well, I guess we should talk to... Oh look, a Port Valley trademark automatic door. Dave and Nora, I feel like we're going to get to know Dave and Nora pretty well. How about we check out the traffic cone? Seem to have uh, closed the road to traffic. Just a nut design street, another one. Lots of those kicking around, funny that. Uh, can we talk to Nora then? And both of them, I guess. Don't mind me. Hey, stop right there. No one can get into this building. Well, why not? Why am I trying anyway? <laughs> What's going on, Div? Did someone lose their wallet? That's confidential information. Some guy tried to break into the building during Mr. Wright's interview. Oh, right, that's massively confidential, Nora. Where to go? Nora? What did I just say? I wasn't really paying much attention. Too busy thinking about Totoro. Nobody can go in there. End of story. Okay. All right. Cool. I guess it doesn't matter who you click on, it's, you're going to get the same thing. So I guess I have to keep going down the street then. How about this door? Also locked. Yeah, okay, you don't need to say the same thing again and rub it in. Oh, a lock, a broken pipe. Seems that someone loosened this pipe. Can I pick it up? You don't want it? Why don't you want it? Wrenchland. Just an old, lame hardware store. I think my dad used to buy stuff here. Don't call them lame. Support local business. What's the offer? It's literally just a piece of paper with the word offer written on it. Oh. Okay. Somebody should explain to them how shop windows work. 
Because you assume in games like this that there's something else written on it. It's just not... You, you, his point is writing on there because we can't see it. But it is literally just off it. Can we go through? Do we want to? Oh, apparently we do. Don't really know why. More tools, I guess. Oh, to fix the scooter because the scooter broke. That's what we were doing. Oh, gosh. That is something to think about. Sorry, wasn't paying attention. Why are you wearing the cap if I'm your superior? Maybe that's why you have that yellow thing on your tie. Oh, yeah. I never even noticed that. Oh, maybe. Not too much space for details, huh? <laughs> the self-awareness. I just like games that have the self Oh my god, I want a bleed poster with a wrench on it. Oh god, where do I get one of these? I can only wonder what kind of company manufactures this stuff. A great one. A fantastic one. An ugly plant? It's a beautiful plant. Don't call it lame. I, do you know what? I'm liking this make out less, less and less. Oh, there's a switch though. Uh, let's not touch it until we finish talking to everybody. A decorative wrench. Does it sing? Does it Does it sing? Does it sing the safety dance? It should sing the safety dance. I've started to identify a common theme in this store. Yeah, it's a great one. I want to work here. So shut up and stop stop ragging on it, man. Uh, extreme repair kit. Why does he have a take a number machine? Wait, it's not exactly the... Oh, is that what the switch does? Does it change the number? He's got a lucky cat. Has science gone too far? It's a lucky cat with a wrench. I didn't even notice. I also just realised that I'm calling it wrench over and over again when... My neck of the woods, we call them spanners. But anyway. A clock? Oh, they actually took the time to animate this clock. Talk about wasting development time. <laughs> I wonder they took so long to remake the demo. Ooh, self burn! Either that or the characters have become super aware. A shampoo kit? Try the best wood scented anti hair loss shampoo on the market. Wood scented? What on earth is this doing in a hardware store? Yeah, at first I thought it was stupid, then I thought it was maybe for a cut. Oh, it's today's special suggestion, sir. I personally recommend the spray version. Done wonders for me. Do you? <laughs> I think there's just nothing else. It's just no Oh, look, free nut. Get a complimentary nut with your purchase. <laughs> Not bad. You never know what may come behind the next Bitcoin. Or what may become the next Bitcoin. But I think you'll find those will be Nuka-Cola bottle caps. I, I think. Box full of nuts and bolts. Adding nuts and bolts to a beloved franchise is not always the best idea. Is that is that a hint about DLC? Or remakes? Um, okay, I guess this is what we want. It's the Extreme Repair Kit 100 version 2.0 Diesel 5G. I could easily fix my scooter's tire with it. Is it in our price range? Can we pick it up? I mean, do we want to? Do we? Do we? Do we want to maybe talk to the a receipt printer? Why can we even highlight that? And the can? What's the can? It's a hundred gram can of nails and screws. A can of. Okay, yeah, receipt printer. I mean, there's nothing here. Yeah, I know. I'm just being super nosy. Something's terribly wrong with this sign. I just realized as well what it was. It says custom wanted, not help wanted. This shop is my idea of heaven. So can we pick it up? Uh, I'll ask the clerk about this kit. All right, so I do have to talk to the clerk. I'm looking for a tire repair kit. Just something not too fancy that would make some cash upon resale. <coughs> Hello? Hey, old timer, do you work here or are you an ornamental thing? Kind of hard to tell in this place. Take a number and wait for your turn, sir. But I'm literally the only person here. I, I understand your opinion, sir, but I won't care about it unless you have a number. But, but I... I always go to the local stores because of the human touch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I mean, maybe... Maybe you've got a point there. Because now I was just talking about supporting local business. 
So do I have to take a number, take it to Spencer, which seems like a real pointless formality. Number one. Great. Number one, please. You I, I, I just can't, I just don't. I, fine. It's me again. I had to fight my way through the crowd. Welcome to Wrenchland, the only place where every day is Father's Day. Right, I'm not gonna, not gonna, not gonna pry, I'm not gonna push that one. I'm not looking for a screwdriver, why were we looking for a screwdriver? We should have kept the one that we got from the guy instead of throwing it away like a jerk. Okay, I'm interested in the entire repair kit, of course. Are you sure, sir? That's not a cheap brand. Hey, Giza, what are you implying that I can't afford? Absolutely nothing, sir. Here, I'll pay by card. I'm sorry. Mrs. Wong? That's me. We only accept cash in this store. Oh, so it's free, right? So please come back whenever you have the money, sir. You capitalist. Yes, sir. Uh... Not amused. No, nope, I'm not I'm not I'm not happy about that one. No. Maybe I can go and push the switch behind this plant and do something annoying to him. What does it do? Does it just change the number on the machine? Well, I wanna know what it does. Press it. That's not a toy, sir. Sorry. It blatantly is, though, isn't it? Oh, God. Okay, I guess we do need to take some money out. But there was, there was other things. There was another store next door that I'm curious about. Oh. You again? Listen, if you wanted to see me, you should just say it. We're adults, you know. Do I know you? Oh, wait. That stupid hair. Look, she parked again without a ticket. Let her be. We don't want any trouble with the plumbers right now. Oh, God, no, you definitely don't want to piss off a plumber. They'll billy till your head spins. Um, that's why nobody respects you at the police station, Dave. You should just resign and give me your position, Dave. Shut up. These characters, they're all after each other, I love it. You better have nothing to do with whatever happened to that pipe. Some people can't live in a society. I didn't even realise it was a girl. I... My bad. <laughs> you can put... You can put... Such a carefree job. Lucky her. A hard look street light. Takes two to make a quarrel my ass. <laughs> so it's fixed now, huh? Yeah, I mean, actually it doesn't seem too difficult to loosen. Wait a minute. Do we want to loosen it? Do we need to get her back for some reason? What is she, is she like super plumber? She just instinctively knows when something's broken and needs fixed. Um, uh, yes, another locked door, I understand. Okay. Hello, Katsura Ramen. Katsura Ramen Restaurant, traditional and elaborated Asian cuisine. Ah. Oh, come try the best anchovy pizza in whole Port Valley. <laughs> right. Not a fan of our slogan. Their slogan, our slogan, theirs as well. Um. Uh, the, what's the board say? Fish and crisps, nine ninety nine. Wait, it's like a mixture of uh, it's a mixture of British words. All right. Yes, we call chips crisps, and we call fries chips. All right. Although fries are technically different, they're thinner. Okay, chips are a bit chunky hunks of potato. Okay. 
home fries? I think I've heard them called here. Anyway, let's not get into language semantics because I could be here all day and I really, really don't want to be. What's in the ramen store then? What would we even need in here? Please, Karen! Don't even think about it, Sam. I need someone here. But it'll only be a second. You won't even notice I'm gone. That doesn't speak too high of your work here, does it? Oh, you're back. <laughs> Perfect timing. Of course, it's where I work. That's why he said our slogan. I'm a delivery boy. Duh. Wait. Hmm. I guess it's fine then. Wait. Am I being... Great. No. Am I being roped into staying on your behalf? But come back as soon as you're done. Sure. I owe you a big one. What are you talking about? Bye. No, wait. Hang. Oh, man. Everybody sucks. Hey, come here for a second. What's wrong with her? Oh, I don't know. She said something about a family emergency. Uh, wait. Aren't you sisters? Wouldn't you know if anything had happened? Uh, anyway, you have work to do. We received a last minute order. Oh, wait. No, no, no. My shift is over now. Sam said you'd cover up for a while. She's out. Of course she did. Damn brat. Look, the dining room's full now. I can't just leave the restaurant. Uh, it's not my problem. Unless you're going to comp me my next week's pay. Okay, I'll give you some extra money if you don't take too long. Ah, uh, fine. That could pay for the repair kit. Good boy. Now go deliver it to the PTV building. Oh. What? Are you kidding? That place is full of cops. How do you expect me to get in? Oh, wait. Um, does that expression go again? Oh, yeah. That's not my problem. Well. Fine. No wonder she always has that thing on. On summer nights like this one, this place feels like an oven. No, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fair enough. I understand. At least I can get some fresh air. Uh, don't defend her acting like a nasty person. Um, um, wasn't there something else we could look at? I guess we don't want to be bugging the clients. Is there anything else we can look at? This fortune cookie. Pick up the fortune cookie. Someone didn't take their fortune cookie. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Why not? Did she look over here? It's a fortune cookie. No one's going to eat it. There's a bag full of these things in the kitchen. Can I use the fortune cookie? Let's see what's inside. Ooh, fun and exciting. Please beware of the cats. You've been granted a chance that shouldn't be missed. Beware of the cats. Isn't this a little too precise for a fortune cookie? Hmm. Well then. Ooh, a Chinese piñata. Switches! Don't really know what they do. Can we use them? Uh. <laughs> No way! <laughs> That'll teach me. Oh, wait, there we go. Wrong switch. You don't even know what they do. How can you say wrong switch? What does the right one do? Wait. Oh, I've turned the fan off. What's wrong with this fan now? Oh, I've turned the fan off. Wait, but why would I do that? Oh, I see. So you've been playing with those switches again? Um, no. Leave them as they were right now. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, that's better. Uh, well, okay then. Where does she get all this junk? The door? 
Don't think I was supposed to see that scenery during the demo. Oh, don't. Don't hold out on us. We want to see everything. Fine. Again, I lost count of how many times I've said fine. What's this painting? Pretty sure that's Hindi. Oh. <laughs> a Hindi painting in a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, diploma. That was the other thing. University name confers upon Karen Wong the degree on restaurants. Yeah. That seems legit. VR painting. Hmm. The future of video games, they said. <clears throat> Had a job at VR. It's doing pretty well, isn't it, still? Hey, where do you think you're going? To the bathroom. Must have eaten something from the kitchen by mistake. Ah! Ah, zing! Tell me. Have you made the delivery yet? Ugh, can't Sam do her own work for once? You'll be able to go to the bathroom once you've made the delivery. Period. God damn, can't even bloody go to the toilet? Youngsters these days don't respect a thing. You have to set some rules. You don't even look that old! Although, I guess, how could you make a pixelated character look that old? Oh, yeah, I'm older than you! Blah, blah, blah. You heard me. Why is everyone such jerks in this game? Ooh, can I bug the clients? Maybe I should try and bug the clients. Just your regular filler NPC. And the other one. Hmm, I think I've seen her somewhere before. Is that a reference to maybe another game that this, these peeps have made? I don't know. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to leave and try and make this bleeding delivery. Don't know how meant it. Where can we go any further? Oh, a fancy car. What's an official car doing here? Oh, okay, that's it. Fine. I guess we have to try and figure out how to... No, I didn't mean to... No, I tried to... Damn it. I don't have money yet. I can't buy the repair kit yet. Can I pick up the traffic cone? Hey, you're just picking stuff up at random, right? Me? Never! Can we talk to it? I'm not that nut. Well, I am, and... Yes. I am, and I bid you to do my... My will, bidding, I, uh, I, never mind, I guess I'll let you off. Okay, is this going to do the trick? Um, deliver to Port Valley Broadcast Station, 4th Floor, Studio 2A. Karen said she'd give me some money if I managed to make it on time. Is it worth it? Probably. We can buy that repair kit, I'm sure that's the deal. Alright, can I use bag with... I'm not playing with the food. It has to be delivered safe and sound. I'm trying to show it to the people to show that I've got a delivery. Use bag on the door. Fuck. Oh, I can, maybe I just have to talk to them. Friends! What now? Okay. Oh, maybe they could... Ah, well, you know what? Let's try the ones that obviously aren't going to work first because I just want to see their reactions. I have to get into this building. Like, super serial. I really need to get in there. Why? Um, I'm supposed to make a delivery? Let's start with the truth and then work backwards to the lies. A delivery? You? Yeah, you thought the apron was a fashion thing? John, it's not. Well, I'm just surprised. But I guess it's never too late to settle down. What do you mean, settle down? Listen, I'm in a hurry. You gonna let me in or not? Don't make me whine. <laughs> Forget about it. It's a special situation. Even Devon had to cancel his interview. Uh, well, what a shame. And all because of that person. Hmm. Who? Yeah. What person? Let me in on it. No one. Well, that's obviously n not true. Okay, well, how about... Plumber. Duh, okay, what's really going on here? Nothing to worry about. Leave it in our experienced hands. Last time I heard those words, a high school had to be evacuated. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, I remember that. It was a nice Christmas. Shut up. Um... Who's the person you keep talking about? I'm going to keep poking you until you tell me. No one. 
just a weird looking guy who tried to break into the building during the interview. <sighs> Nora. We suspect he was trying to attack Mr. Wright. Nora. <laughs> yeah, Nora. Wait, did he succeed? Of course not. People say he threw some kind of a lamp clock through the window and ran away. Oh, see? Okay, so that's what was going on. But it's weird. When we arrived, there was no trace of it inside the building. Oh! Uh, an alarm clock? Yeah, why? Well, I saw a suspicious guy with an alarm clock a second ago. Are you serious? What do you say? Will you let me in if I tell you where to find him? It's a fair deal, right? Uh, the little, the little nod. Deal. Cool. This way. Not so fast. Uh, you'll have to show us some kind of visual proof before that. Oh, how the hell do I get visual proof? A picture, for example. Wait, you don't trust me? Where's this friendship going? Sorry, security protocol. We can't leave this spot unless we're 100% sure. Uh, come back when you have a picture of this suspicious person with the alarm clock. <sighs> Are there any cameras at all in this demo? Well, the guy with the cap mask at the banana stand must have a camera because he had a picture of himself with the balloon. Hey, I'm not done talking to you guys yet. How about the girl? There's a little girl all alone at the banana stand. How about that and civic duty and stuff? Is she lost? I don't really know. She keeps saying she has to meet someone, but that sounds quite off to me. Hmm. We can't leave this spot at the moment. Do you think you can bring her here? Well, I can try, but I don't think she'll move. Maybe she's one of those little vandals from earlier trying to hide in plain sight on a bench. No, she doesn't seem that way. She could be at least, she's just a kid with a funny backpack. If she's trying to hide, she would at least try and be behind the bench. Okay, we'll be here waiting. No, I'm not done talking to you. Um, ooh, what about the plumber? What was that plumber doing here? I'm just full of being, full of nauseiness today. She was just fixing a pipe. Someone's been loosening pipes all around the town. That's a weird thing to be doing. For some reason, that plumber appears out of nowhere and fixes it. Oh, okay. That gets... that. Uh, I'm starting to piece something together. Must be one of those viral challenges. Kids will emulate any weird crap. Don't eat tie pods. This looks like a distraction manoeuvre. These plumbers must be up to something again. What is it with plumbers? There's nothing we can do. She's just doing her job. What about all those parking tickets she's not paying, Dave? Could go towards fixing that window. Aren't we equal before the law, Dave? Why don't you just jump in front of a train, Dave? Shut up! God damn it! Passive aggressiveness to the extreme. Yeah, I thought you guys worked at the traffic division. I like the way we seem to know these people, but I have no idea. Uh, not for too long after today. Nora. Shut up. We just happened to be nearby when the incident took place. Some kids split, spilled soda on a parking meter and it started spitting out money all over the place. Oh. Can I do that? What? Really? Yeah, that new model has some serious waterproofing issues. <laughs> That's good to know. They better find a solution before the wet season. Yes, they better. God, there's a lot of questions here. What was wrong with the parking meters? Uh, the new model has some serious waterproof issues. Oh, right, okay, that's the same thing. Is Devin really running for mayor? Say it ain't so. Are you serious? I thought you guys were close. Oh, trust me. I have nothing to do with him anymore. Seems we used to. I was uh, lucky a cat with a banana told me about this. Um, sure. But yeah, he is. 
But according to the polls, he seems to have real options. That bastard knows that the port rail incident is his trump card against Mayor Paget. Hey, just how much do you guys know Devon Wright? Well, it's kind of a long story. By the way, I'd like to question him before he leaves. Why even bother? He said he didn't see a thing. Nora, if they're going after Devon, that means he annoyed someone he shouldn't have. He seems like the kind of person that would do that, to be honest. After all, people don't ever change. Don't ever never change. Alright, so let me know if there's any news. Yeah, because you're the police's emergency contact. How do you know I'm not? Alright. Okay then, I guess I've got some more things to mess about with. Uh, part 2 is longer than part 1 so far. So, I am going to um, end it here for now. And Port Valley will continue next time. If you just haven't played the demo for yourselves, I'll pop a link in the description below. So, uh, you can go play it because you should go play it because it's very fun and funky and old school and sarcastic and self-referential and I love it. I love it so much. Alright, before you do go wander off, don't forget to pop the like button if you are enjoying still my playthrough of the Port Valley demo and my inability to form coherent sentences. And don't forget to pop the subscribe button too if you want to pop on back and catch the rest of this and the other stuff that I play. I have been Mikey Bly and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning. Afternoon, evening, or night, and I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.